What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. On today's episode, we are weighing chainsaw bars. So this is going to be a culmination of every single chainsaw bar that I can come up with. Uh, the only two brands that I, well, there are a couple other brands that I don't have, but two that I did want to test are the Forrester Platinum and a GB Titanium, but nonetheless, I didn't get a hold of these before the test. So we have on the table eight chainsaw uh, manufacturers here we're going to we're going to test them for their weight i'm going to tell you guys all the weight in pounds and ounces and then we are going to line them up from lightest to heaviest so this will give you guys a comprehensive list of just uh, each chainsaw bar how much it weighs so if you're looking for the lightest or you're looking at a specific bar you know the exact weight in 28 inches so let's go ahead and get started so first up on the chopping block, we are going to weigh the stock chainsaw bars. So we're talking about the Rollomatic ES from Steel and then the standard Husqvarna, I think they call it the Super Tough, the uh, standard bar from Husqvarna 28 inch. So let's go ahead and put the Husqvarna on first. So the standard bar from Husqvarna weighs three pounds, 11, or sorry, I'm already messing it up. Three pounds, 12 ounces, and a quarter. So 12 and a quarter ounces. All right, next up, we've got the Steel Rollomatic ES. These are going to be the heaviest bars. This is a comparison with the, you know, the standard bar versus the light versions of the same bars or equivalent. So the Steel Rollomatic ES standard bar is three pounds, 14 and a quarter ounces. So a very, very heavy bar. So three pounds, 14 ounces is almost a four pound bar. So another one that's not considered a reduced weight in this lineup is the Windsor Speed Tip. So the Windsor Speed Tip comes in at three pounds, 13 and three quarter ounces. So they are all right at almost the four pound mark. So let's go ahead and get into the five variations of reduced weight bars um, that I have here on the table. So the Steel Rollomatic ES light bar, 28 inch weighs, weighs in at two pounds, 11 and a half ounces. Two pounds, 11 and a half ounces. So let's go ahead and as we measure these up, let's go ahead and put them down here. All right, next up is the Oregon Reduced Weight Power Cut. I just came out with a video on this bar yesterday. A, uh, one of my favorite bars, um, just looks good. Awesome to have on the saw. This weighs two pounds, 11 ounces, seven eighths. 11 and seven eighths ounces. So almost 12 ounces, but uh, two pounds, 11 ounces, seven eighths. So just a little heavier than the steel light bar, um, arguably, uh, you know, basically the same weight. You're not going to notice that uh, half a pound or half an ounce difference. So next up is the Sugihara. This weighs three pounds, two ounces exactly. Next up is the Sumara bar. <clears throat> This is two pounds, 14 and a quarter ounces. Okay. I think the Canon's gonna be lighter than two pounds, 14 and a quarter. And the Canon comes in at, man, comes in at three pounds, three quarter ounces. So I was wrong. So this is our lineup here of the reduced weight bars. If you're new to reduced weight bars and you're just now looking into them, um, a lot of these Japanese bars will have the, the uh, cutout here and then it's filled with epoxy resin or plastic as some people like to say. Uh, the, the white parts are the plastic resin that's put in the bar. Same on the Sumara bar, um, these panels that you know look cool and have a, a symmetrical pattern to them, those are all cutouts of the actual metal material. So same thing with the steel light bar is this entire panel in here is cut out. There, I will roll in a close-up picture here. The entire center of the bar is cut out and filled with, uh, I assume they just take out the filler metal in between and then it's a hollow uh, piece in between there. So it's a very rigid bar. Um, it does not compromise a lot. 
and it is the lightest for a reason. I do love that bar. And then when you talk about the uh, power cut and things like this, they have an aluminum plate that looks like it's riveted into the bar. So that light colored panel there is the actual reduced area where they've milled out all of that metal and that hardened steel is gone and they put in an aluminum cover plate. Now I assume it's the same for the Canon. I can't speak for exactly how each of these are made, but uh, to my best assumption, this is our lineup here. So the steel being the lightest, Oregon at arguably almost the exact same weight, just a tad heavier. And then you have Sugihara, uh, the Sumara bar, and then Canon. So the lineup is very, you know, uh, a huge, like when you talk about a still, still Rollomatic, oh, my scale turned off. When you talk about uh, the regular bar versus the light bar, I mean, you could do your own math, but we're gonna do it right here on camera. Your regular bar weighs three pounds, 14 ounces. So we were talking about just almost four pounds. And the light bar comes in at two pounds, 11 ounces. So over a pound of weight off of the chainsaw bar. So you can definitely tell when you're running the chainsaw that it is a lot more balanced and you have a lot less weight hanging on you out at the end of the bar. If you know anything about physics, as you add weight and you have it further out from you, uh, it creates more of a leverage effect and you feel the weight a lot more. So the longer the bar gets, the heavier it gets. And you know, if you were looking at the steel light bar in a 32 or 36 inch, it is absolutely going to be light years ahead of a regular standard bar. So I hope this helps you guys out I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for the lightest chainsaw bar, well, there you have it. Um, not a lot of people are gonna argue very many other manufacturers. I really would have loved to get the GB Titanium in here. Um, it's hard to source them. Uh, there are other companies like Archer and cheap companies that I really didn't want to put in the lineup. So the only other one I don't have is the Forrester Platinum. The Forrester Platinum comes in at three pounds, two ounces. So it is right up there with the Canon Super Bar. So it's arguably going to be one of the, the heavier chainsaw bars. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd love to see you click subscribe, hit that thumbs up, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're already subscribed to the channel and you've been around for a long time, well, I appreciate you being here and we'll see you guys in the next video.